What? No cutscene again? Come on, man. Anyways, welcome guys to Season 5 of Diablo 4. Um, Diablo is in a very interesting state right now. Season 4 was one of the big kind of overhauls of the itemization and everything. And now it's looking like with recent news in, in Season 5 and onwards, the game is looking like it's going to go towards a more Diablo 3. Um, they're actually bringing back some systems from Diablo 3. Now, I'm not a particularly fan of that because I already played the crap out of Season 3. I mean, sorry, Diablo 3. So I would like some new stuff. But it, it looks like they're also bringing back Rune Words from Diablo 2. So the game's kind of almost taking some stuff from Diablo 3, but as well as Diablo 2. But it, the game, it hasn't quite settled yet. It's it's The game still... Honestly, it isn't finished. If I, if, 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 I can't quite put it into words but the game is still in a constant ever-changing state of states if that makes sense so who knows in like three seasons it might be a completely different game um i think they're just looking through what works and what doesn't work and still trying to find the identity of the game um it's exciting um because the game is changing but hopefully it ends up being something that's relatively both enjoyable but also new and uh, interesting at the same time well we'll see how it goes but let's just check out um, let's get into the story for Season 5. I've heard of unrest in Zabanzet. The Crusaders have made arrests searching for Triune collaborators. It could be paranoia, but I should speak to the captain there. there these fears may have merit. Oh, okay, it's like, puts you right there. Okay, cool, cool. You. Did I just hear you praying for that Triune filth? Only for the light to save us from them, my lord. Yeah, I got you baited, bro. I could debate if it cuts in. Um, what's this all about? Ah, <sighs> Wanderer. So glad you've taken an interest. You know the Triune. The lunatics who bring the tides of hell. Well, we've caught a few lurking among us. Plotting evils untold. The Wanderer? Uh, I swear, my lords, I pray only for salvation. <laughs> salvation. Pray on, then. This seemingly innocent villager just recited part of Rathma's prophecy. I'd say that demands an explanation. Made strong. A pack of lambs feasting on wolves. Wait! Bro, the music's so beautiful. There is no prayer to the light. That is no prayer to the light. How do you know Rathma's prophecy? It was something my mother used to say. It brought our family hope. Before she died. Many of us are lost now. But we who remember her pray for a fresh hope. Our house is southwest of town. You should join us for supper. We can speak more of lambs and wolves. Bro, am I gonna be the supper? Is that what, you, is that what you're getting at? We'll you, light a candle for are you. Are you gonna eat me, bro? Of lambs and wolves, Lochran said his mother taught him the words of the prophecy, and he has invited me to supper with his quote-unquote family. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be eaten at their house nearby. Whatever is going on there, I'm not sure I'll like it. Visit Lochran's family at their house. Okay, before we do that, Mr. Lochran, um, approach the door. I saw the weak made strong. A pack of lambs feasting on wolves. I was code word. You! Set the fires! The Wanderer is on us! Everyone be calm! Calm! I invited the Wanderer to be our guest. Our what? Your guest? You are Triune? We are the Mother's Triune. What's left of them? Most of our brethren have forsaken her. It is they who welcome hell into our world. We want to destroy these heretics, same as you. Now, I know much blood has been shed between us. But the tides of hell are rising, just as the mother foretold. No one can stop them alone. Not even you, Wanderer. We can tell you how to find the Triune. Crush their demons, even steal their power for your own. What say you? Fine. What is what is it you offer? 
Oh, blessed mother. To begin, we offer a taste of the mother's power. Your birthright. Oh, sure, why not? They'll take a basic sacrifice. Nothing too unsavory. Go on and fetch me one of them Kazra livers. Make sure it's ripe. In the service of Salamini. Great of Kazra organs. Ooh. Goatman's hearts, intestines, and lungs collect for unknown but undoubtedly forbidden rituals and magics. Ooh. No power comes without sacrifice. We take what is necessary to. Enough! Play the demon. Piss and blood! <laughs> what? <laughs> Go on, wanderer. Chop up! Your power's inside. Oh, damn it, it's still! Nothing, eh? Try a bigger one. There she is. A paltry taste of the power the mother promised. You enjoy it. This is the mother's gift. Lethal to most, but those who have taken her sacred blood will feel it awaken inside them. Yes, well, it's the only gift you'll get from me. You want more, you'll have to earn them. Look here. The mother's gifts. Mother's gifts drop from slaying powerful enemies. The greater the challenge, the more you receive. A new challenge awaits you in World Tier 3. Gather the mother's gift to build the strength to face the infernal hordes. Wait, is that it? Is that the entire... St wait, no, wait. That's story right off the bat. Um, The mother's gift. Okay, let's have a look at this real quick. Tier 1. Straight up experience, okay. Um, contains common crafting materials, okay. Um, right, the past minus. Oh, seasonal side quests. So you have to level up per. Okay, so oh, that's different. So they made the tiers per story now instead of. I would have liked it to have done it in one go. So basically. What I gotta do is get to VI and then just smash out all the, the quests, I guess. Okay. Or maybe not. Um, I've accepted your gift. Hold on. How can I possibly trust you? You won't remember, but I tried to kill you in Chaldeum. <sighs> tried. You cast me aside like a child's toy. Broke six of my ribs. I could only watch as you tore my brethren apart. I don't remember this guy at all. It was a revelation. Out of all the suffering we created, there you were. Better than us. Stronger than Elias. Stronger than even the mother imagined. Yes. You are the weapon we hope to create. I've accepted your gift. What now? Now, we cast hell out of sanctuary, starting with the Triune heretics. I will work to discover their plans. As for you, with or without our help, I pray you'll destroy every living one of them. Speaking of which, the tide will be rising soon. Best get to it. When you've got something to show for your efforts, I'll be in Zarbenzet. You know I killed your mother. You killed our mother. Yours and mine. But I know you heard her warning. Look around you. Don't you see that hell has come just as she said? That the light can offer no refuge? It's not too late to embrace her truth. For all our sakes. Hmm... The Rising Hells. There is no denying the power I feel from the Mother's Gift. Estelle has shown me how to extract more 
form powerful servants of hell, an ominous position. Take it or leave it. The tides of hell must be stopped. That, okay. Um, talk. What do you make of Lochran? Oh, he's smitten with you. Lochran put the mother up on quite the pedestal, but after you knocked her down, he stuck you right in her place. We did some horrible shite to help the mother save sanctuary. Helping you? That's his last chance to make it all worth it. You don't like this plan, do you? I'd rather we paint the town in each other's blood, but what would be the point? Hell will swallow the whole of shited world. Unless maybe you get stuck in its throat. I'd be glad to help you with that. I just realized that like a shrine dedicated to Lilith. Let's have a, let's have a look see around here. Small yet well cared for, drops of blood stain her feet, both dried and fresh. Okay, statue of mother, Estelle's grimoire. A leather bound book marked by the sign of the mother. One side is badly burned, saved from a fire? Question mark. So another look see around, it's a pretty cool area. What's that? Oh, here. Yeah. A little thing happening here. Travel supplies. Dwindling rations, soiled bandages, potions, bottles, near drained. Sure signs of a losing battle. Alright, I'll just farm it until we get to tier the I six, yeah, and then um I'll I'll meet you guys right after I've got everything and we'll continue the story. I'll see you then. Well well. Is it safe to talk openly here? Hmm? Oh, yes. Vladan and I have an understanding. Alrighty, welcome back, guys. So, basically, I've been playing a whole lot. Um, we got our Andario's build uh, basically done. I'm just missing um, Tyrael's Might and the uh, Star of Skyless Stars something ring that's got the uh, all resistances. I just need two mythics and we're basically done with the build um i haven't continued this story so let's get right back into the story from where we left off um the past behind us i've cut my way through countless demons and taken the mother's gift from them perhaps it's time to seek istel back in zabanzeb and see what she has to say wanderer before we do that let's um check the rewards for the mother's gift i don't think i went over them entirely so you guys have been playing a lot of them already uh, i think it's 15 in roman numerals so you get xp um reputation cash magic reputation cash that's so for the story progression um another reputation cash story progression um these are materials i'm pretty sure some more materials story some legend Legendary items, okay, story. So basically I got all the story stuff so we can do it all in one seamless go. That's what I wanted to do. Cash, what's this? Infernal compass. Contains some infernal compasses that grant access to tier two of the infernal hordes. Okay, so infernal hordes, I think we're gonna get into that later on. Um reputation cash, reputation cash, 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 a lot of cash, cash money. Um reputation cash What's this? Um, infernal Compass to next year. A forbidden right of the Triune used to inscribe an Infernal Compass of special instructions for the journey to hell. Okay, so it looks like we're we'll going to hell. And then we get a unique item cache. Cache for rare materials. Cache for something else. Legendary cache for 925 gear. Interesting. And what's this? A vile container filled of decayed flesh, rotten eggs, and generally repulsive items. Ooh. So I think this is for Durial mats to run Durial, I'm assuming. And lucky last, we get um, a guaranteed Ancestral Legendary with 925 item power and two Greater Apexes as well as a Resplendent Spark. Okay, so you get pretty a lot of big stuff from this one. Is it safe to talk openly here? Hmm? Oh, yes. Vladan and I have an understanding. Okay. What do you make of Lochran? Oh, he's smitten with you. Lochran put the mother up on quite the pedestal, 
But after you knocked her down, he stuck you right in her place. We did some horrible shite to help the mother save Sanctuary. Helping you? That's his last chance to make it all worth it. Approach is still. You stink of brimstone, friend. A marked improvement, I'd say. I will do what I must to protect Sanctuary. This power is incredible, I want more. So is it an option or is it two different things? I will do what I must to protect Sanctuary. <laughs> you sound like Lochran. For the good of Sanctuary. Don't pretend you don't crave power. Not to me. You've taken to the gift faster than I expected. If you want more, the Triune will provide. Word is, they're gathering near Omath's Redoubt. Give them my best. The past behind us. Among other things, Estelle said the Triune are gathering near Omath's Redoubt. She seems to, to, be, to have been honest with me so far. I'd better go have a look. That's over there. But I, I have noticed there's a... Quest here. The eyes of the enemy. A growing disturbance unfolding outside of the Zarbanzet Chapel within the city walls. The air is heavy with palp palpable tension. Worry is etched into the townspeople and the usual solemn count countenances of the Crusaders oath sworn to protect the city. An unknown and potentially grave th threat is brewing. This beckons a swift investigation. Since we're here, let's have a look at that, see what's going on there. Some guards. The light is needed in the darkest of places, yet sometimes the light must call on darkness in turn. Have that on for now. What's going on here? Oh, oh, hold on. Have we got a? Is that a cultist that they've got hung up there? Let me talk to. Scott. When Akarat wills it, we will find his tomb. What if he never meant for us to find it? That it even exists. Don't talk like that! Our faith is our strength, always has been. And it's all we have left now. To arms! To arms, you rusted fools! We don't care if you like us. We care about keeping this village safe. We will not let them yet to intrude us again. Got some people hung up here. Crucified suspect. Badly beaten and strung up for all to see. A sign around her neck reads, Spy for the Triune. Hmm. What's going on? Where the hell have you been? Bloody Triune have set the tides on us. Demons at our gates. Two arms! Find the Triune. Hold this outside Zarbanza. The danger against Zarbanza emanates from Triune cults, whose nefarious presence now enroaches upon the city's very gates. Their audacity in nearing the heart of the Zakarim cannot be ignored. Captain Seriska and her crusaders went forth to confront the threat. I shall join them upon the battlefield to arms those people need help pig spawn traitors mother damn you all like they are shield <laughs> like a spear from the dark, the wanderer appears. I knew I would find you again. Shame it had to be like this. Nothing. Just darkness. Blood, I, I can help. Nothing. Just darkness. He yeah, looks like they've got these guys hung up. Makeshift cage. An old livestock cage. A repeat of human sized shackles. The stench inside is terrible.
Amidst the aftermath of battle, the earth is a canvas of the fallen. The Trion and the Crusaders now rest together in eternal stillness. Only two have survived, myself and the condemned Trion hung on a nearby crucifix. He seems joy to see me. Lochran, what happened to you? I was so close. I infiltrated a group of Trion heretics. We were on our way to their camp when the Crusaders ruined everything! I never learned what the Trion are planning, but the bastards were excited. Said the tides were just the beginning. They're about to unleash the flood. Oh, my Lord. You must let me down from here. I'll take you to their camp, and we will destroy them. Tell me where they are, I'll look into it. If their deaths would suffice, I'd point you their way and die smiling. But we don't know what they've set in motion. I know their methods, their minds. You need me. You know I killed your you mother. You killed our mother. Yours and mine. But I know you heard her warning. Look around you. Don't you see that hell has come, just as she said? That the light can offer no refuge? It's not too late to embrace her truth. For all our sakes. How can I possibly trust you? You won't remember, but... I tried to kill you in Chaldeum. <sighs> tried. You cast me aside like a child's toy. Broke six of my ribs. I could only watch as you tore my brethren apart. It was a revelation. Out of all the suffering we created, there you were. Better than us. Stronger than Elias. Stronger than even the mother imagined. Yes. You are the weapon we hope to create. Hmm. Where is Estelle in all of this? <laughs> I wouldn't worry about Estelle. First sign of travel shall vanish like a snake in the bog. She's a survivor. Free Lochran. Lead the way. Blessed Mother be with us. The Triune are gathered at Rakat Keep. Let's go. Lockerin claims a larger congregation of Trion cults are mass near Rakat Keep. I know that place well from my travels alongside the Horodrim, where I learned this decrepit tomb harbors great evil. I will accompany Lockerin there to verify if he is telling the truth. The Trion and their plans are no more. Rakat Keep is silent once again, but I do not feel at peace. Someone looms from beneath the keep. Lockerin stands untainted by deceit thus far. I should counsel him with him with him on our next steps. I've done my part. Your turn. I know this place well. The veil between our world and hell is quite thin here by the black tomb. That must be why they chose it. I need more. We should search that camp. Lochran proposes the search of the cultist's ruined camp. Amidst remnants, clues may surface. Clues that could shed light on the full extent of the Trion schemes. Scroll letter. Our Lord of Hatred moves unseen to bring the dawn of his age. We must show our devotion. Awaken the Lord's own essence that sleeps within San Kikur. Hasten the dawn. Map. The tides of hell are precisely outlined, each with a fiery sigil at its epicenter. Lines radiate from these sigils to converge on a single location, the black tomb of San Kikur. Plans of Rakat Keep. The original Zakarim plans for the construction of Rakat Keep. Fresh occult runes surround the door to the undercrypts, scratched out and redrawn around a seal. It looks for Roderick.
What is this veil you speak of? Did the Horadrim teach you nothing? The veil is the primordial barrier that separates our world from the burning hells. No demon can cross it without invitation. But the veil is not uniform, nor is it invulnerable. I found these notes. What do you think of them? They came for Sankagor. Mephisto's own hatred in his corpse. They would magnify it a thousandfold and tear open the veil. <laughs> but they couldn't get through the bloody door. Come with me. We'll put Sankagor to bed for good. Inside the Black Tomb, Triune have been exploiting the lingering hatred emanating from the Black Tomb. Lokram believes his, this hatred stems from Sankakur's body, a former host of Mephisto, and used to rupture Sanctuary's protective veil against hell. We must annihilate what is left of Sankakur. Lokram and I will travel to Rakat Keep Ruins where the tomb door lies. In my search for you, I retraced your steps here. Only to find your Horadrim sealed this door. Very tricky, but easily circumvented. Master Elias taught me himself. Oh, yeah. The runes hum with Horadric magic, sealing shut the doors to the key. Okay. In we go. We must annihilate what is left of Sankakur, but what will we find if we open that tomb? Oh, such a fuss over old Sankakur. His hatred could have been banished to hell long ago. The best the Sakharun could do was stick it in a box. We'll open it up, purge the corpse, and the Triune's plan will be dust. Fiction words. The sigils emit the, the sulfuric ang of Triune magic. Yet they remain passive towards us. It seems they are meant for others. Speaking of this soccer room. Pardon the mess. Let me gather myself and we'll proceed. Map of Estuar. <sighs> Blessed Mother. Be with us. Map of Istuar. Nevesk, Kyovashad, Eldheim, Rakat, Chaldeum, circle locations and scrolled notes chronicle your journey in obsessive detail. Trying to the mother. A small statue of Lilith is covered in sacrificial blood, a sure sign of frequent painful offerings. Padded journal. Will I get used to the screams? My ears ring with them. Almost deaf now, but I see the faces clear. Mouths and eyes pried open. Hands grasping for revenge. Thousands of them, here in the dark with me until the world burns. And I join them, screaming. Restored pluck. Though badly corroded, some of the inscription has been cleaned out. Return our people to the light and dwell in darkness, deaf, mute, blind. You've been living in here? Sometimes. It's quiet. Nobody comes calling. Hatred is heavy in the air, but I don't mind it. It reminds me of her. Buzz and love. This tomb was meant to stay closed. Oh, I am fed to the teeth with what the light worshippers mean to do. Sankekor meant to lead his people, yet became Mephisto's vessel. The paladins meant to contain him, yet fell to the same corruption. We can do far better. Let's get this over with. All right, stand back. Stop 
stubborn bastard! Gah. Well, what the hell? What? No, no, no. Where is he? Where is the body? What now? Oh, mother's blood, the hatred. Sagekor is down there somewhere. We need his body intact. Every piece. We'll have to be quick. This talisman will shield us from the Lord's hatred, but I can't say for how long. Did we just find another entrance into hell? What is down there? It appears our tomb is actually a crypt. Another deterrent for would-be grave robbers? Oh, it's a crypt, okay. <laughs> I suppose that's us. What is this talisman? A relic. Blessed by the mother's own hand. A symbol of the free will she gave us. Its power has faded each day since she fell. But it will hold. Lochran's talisman. A single petal of the mother's own blood, slowly wilting under glass. Find where Sankakut is buried. Holy Akarat, we commit to you the body of your fallen servant, Kehegan Senkekur. Carry his spirit from this tainted shelf, and let no one disturb the evil that remains. The talisman is holding for now. Let's find our corpse. Look out! He is. Light, seal the ears that delighted in our cries. Let them hear only silence. He is of some good. <sighs> Sakaru butchers. How many pieces did they cut from him? Oh, they cut his body parts and scattered them all across the crypt. <laughs> okay, sounds about right. He is of some good. Bound to the fell under crypts. Light, seal the ears. That delighted in our cries, let them hear only silence, Paladin's prayer. Full of stillness. No, oh, no, the talisman is fading. Give it to me. Light bind the tongue that poisoned our faith. Let it speak for hatred no more. Oh, not some kickwood. Light bind the tongue that poisoned our faith. Let it speak for hatred no more. Paladin's prayer. Sagekor himself, and mostly intact. Though there seems to be one last jar over there. Corpse of Sankekur. The blackened flesh is sunken and hardened, fists are tightly clenched, and though the eye sockets are empty, you feel its gaze watching, burning straight through you. I'm a scary man, actually. Demonic pustules. Hideous growths sprout like weeds through the cracking tomb floor, even buried under tons of stone. Mephisto's hatred conspires to escape. Eroded stone slab. Names are chiseled into stones on the floor, each with a Zacharim cross. Gelub, Muffed, Brem, Wyand, and Ismail. 
Lights blind the eyes that watched our innocent burn. Let them rot in darkness. This jar is cracked and the eyes are missing. The eyes are lost. We can't complete the body. No! We cannot allow this power to exist! The Triune will claim it. They'll rip open the veil. And hell will sweep across this world! After all I've done, all I've sacrificed, I... Wait, that's it. Is he gonna sacrifice his eyes? Wait. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's perfect. The blood of the willing to purge the vessel of hatred. We may begin. Return the other parts to the corpse. Take Lockman's eyes. Oh, eye. I guess you give one eye. You just tore it out. <laughs> this feels very wrong. You want to stop the triune? Beat back the tides of hell? This is the only way. My man's dedicated. I love it. Your eye. A trifle compared to what I've lost and taken. Now his voice just changed significantly there, like the tone. By mother's blood, by mother's strength, we seize her lord father's hatred. We tear it from this broken vessel and Cast it back to the abyss! The corpse of some kid, Woody. That was going on. Defending it? Keep enemies away, okay. We know you, rogue, bastard of the West. Your die was cast. Mage of hatred dawns. We rise to meet it. Beat and muck with the cool. It's a fucking badass, man. Fuck! To the abyss! I saw. I saw our doom. What in the hell just happened? I... I purged Sankakura's body and the demon that followed. But my eye... I saw into the realm of hatred. Even without Mephisto, his legions rise. They press against the veil. And the Triune have already damaged it beyond repair. It's only a matter of time. Hell will conquer Sanctuary. I, I need to get out of here. I need to think. Meet me outside. You mean Hell's been conquering Sanctuary like it's been con con conquering it for the past 10,000 years? Emerging victorious from the depths of the Black Tomb, Lockhart and I achieved our mission to destroy Sankikur. Yet we leave not entirely whole. 
A demon unknown to me, Muffet the Cruel, gave Lochran a vision during the ritual. Hell is coming. Hell is here. Clearly he is shaken. I should speak with him again in Rakat Keep. What was that demon in the tomb? I've only ever read about them. It was human once. One of seven high priests of the light, of course. Corrupted, as Sankekor was, by Mephisto himself. How it appeared, I have no idea. So hell is truly coming? Can nothing be done? Hell is eternal. Kill all the Triune you want. Slaughter the legions on every continent. Hell will keep coming until they break through the veil. There is only one thing left to do. I can take you through the Hell Gate, and you will face the demons in their own realm. Push them screaming to the edge of the abyss. Perhaps you will buy us, buy humanity, the time to find another way. Nor a moment's peace before the end. I'll await you at the Hell Gate. Oh, this must be where we get into the Infernal Hordes. The Edge of the Abyss. If the Hells will invade Sanctuary, then I must invade the Hells. Take this war to their threshold. Lochran believes he can show me where to strike to buy Sanctuary the most time. Lochran travels to the Chaldean Imperial Palace. I will meet him there. The Hell Gate awaits. Are you ready? I was ready the day we followed the mother here. When tears of blood rained upon the desert jewel, and the way to hell was torn asunder. Now it's just me, you, and the realm of hatred. May the mother witness our rage. Room. Look at that. Lochran and I stand before the gates to hell, beneath Chaldeum. Lorath seal keeping our two realms separate holds firm, at least for the moment. The Hradrim may advise against breaking their magics and the nature of Lochran's strategy, but then again, we've never shied away from confronting hell before. I will counsel Lochran on our next steps. Why are you doing this? On my way here, I passed the old orphanage in the bazaar. I grew up in one just like it. No family by blood, but dozens of brothers, sisters. It was filled with children like them when we arrived with the mother. A few of them came out to fight us. One was barely ten years old. Holding a plank of wood. I told myself I was sparing him from the horror to come. But standing here, I imagine how he felt. Knowing I can't win. But knowing I have to fight. Perhaps you should stay behind. I must come with you! I may only have one eye, but you can't wander blind through the hills. It is my task to guide you to the demon's source. I won't fail. We cannot let the demons break through. We won't. That demon there, bring me its heart. Fresh from the chest of a slain demon, still hot to the touch. Good. I will enchant the Horadric seal and will slip through the gate. It will remain shut to all but us. 
Once we're through, this heart will be our compass. It will guide us to the demon's source. That is where you'll make your stand. <sighs> Are you ready? Blessed Mother, preserve us. The gates of hell have been roused. The once secure seal now broken. Lockron ventured into the fiery abyss, his compass serving as his beacon. I shall soon follow suit. The realm of hatred awaits. Once again I venture into the realm of hatred. Lockron appears unsettled, yet his resolve and his guiding compass hold steadfast. Together we will find the origin of the demon's influence. We will delve deeper into the desolation fields and fight whatever evil stirs. Mother, I never dreamed it would be so. Here they come! The daughter's betrayer returns. We return in her name. No, no, the compass is fading. I must revive it. Hold them off. <laughs> Follow me. As Lockhart and I have battled through the desolation fields, his guiding compass malfunction. The vile spawn of hatred now blocked our path. I must hold the line and defend Lockhart while he prepares his guide. Once more, we push into the realm of hatred. Together, Lockhart and I will find the origin of the demon's influence. We continue to delve deeper, deeper into the desolation fields and fight whatever evil stirs. You served your purpose, the daughter slain, to free the Lord of Hatred. Light! They will not stop us! This is it! The demon source is here! Deeper though, far deeper. Below, through a thin membrane, terrible shapes churn and twist in bottomless darkness, claws, teeth, burning eyes surging up toward you. I must open the channel down! Join us below. You are awaited. We have discovered the source of the demon, yet the priests from the black tomb have cornered us. Foul are these spawns of hatred, and even fouler is their influence on Sanctuary. Here in the Infernal Hordes, Locker and I must diminish their power. You can't hold them here! Is this movie called Lilith? Looks very similar. Step forward.
Embrace me, mother. My task will be done! Lochran, what have you done? Mother, I finished my task. Oh. I, I opened the way for you, but they will never stop. Tell me you hold them back. Tell me there is oh. Far out. The priests of hatred have been repelled for now. Yet even as they dissipated into smoke and ash, I heard their voices. I fear this war is far from over. Lochran used his last strength to conjure a portal back to sanctuary. I shall leave the infernal hordes alone. Join us. The infernal hordes. Use the infernal compass to face the infernal hordes. After consuming an infernal compass, open your map and select the gates of hell. Survive each wave within the time limit, slay foes and fill the bar to spawn more ether. Defeat the Fell Council and spend either to open their coffers and obtain their riches. Consume an infernal compass, hoard's compass. Lochran sacrificed himself to open the path to the demon source. I will continue to repel the infernal hordes, buying precious time for sanctuary. Lochran's loss will not be in vain. Among my consumables, I now possess the infernal hoard's compass. I will activate it when the time comes to confront the agents of hatred again. Okay. Rogue, far have you wandered? The infernal offer. Slick an infernal offer to invoke boons and beans. Clear enough waves and you may challenge the fell council. Open your map to view current boons and beans. You fight to live. Good. <laughs> I just, just you believe. still believe in victory? <laughs> that kind of reminds me of uh, the Mortal Kombat. I think it's Shao Kahn 
boy so over you usually get in the end. Burning butcher, oh god. Oh no. Oh it's fine, it's fine. Oh no. Okay. We good, we good. Oh, no! Council. Brem, Wyand, and it's. Oh, yeah, okay. I don't know why I use that ability. A lot of HP. The Infernal Compass, confront the Infernal Hordes again by finding more Infernal Compasses. Infernal Compasses can be found in Helltides, Nightmare Dungeons, and within the Infernal Hordes. Oh, okay, so you got to find the actual item to use it to do this, okay. Infernal Compasses have tiers, you can craft them at higher tiers for greater rewards. Upgrade Infernal Compasses by using Abyssal Scrolls. Interesting. Uh, okay, so that's what the Aether is. So I've got 161, and I can spend it on... Right. Oh, whoops. I wasn't supposed to click that. Let's just grab those. And I've got a stash here too. So I'm glad they added a stash. Um, let's get the big boy one. I hope these are 925. 80. Let's get this one. Okay, get some materials. Oh, can you just spend it infinitely on this? Okay, so you can spend that infinitely. Exchange, exchange or an ETH for gold. Hmm. Um, okay, we get one more, this one. This one's items. Okay, so I think it's items, that's special, that's material. yeah, materials, equipment, and okay, yeah. And then someone just spend it on gold. Cool. And I think that's it for Infernal Hordes. Alright, story time. <clears throat> The past behind us. Among other things, Estelle said the Trion are gathering near Omar's redoubt. She seems to have been honest with me so far. I'd better go take a look. Excuse me, guys. The Omar the Breach. All Spire. Okay, so isn't this like a Infernal Hordes, but the dungeon version? Like Ether from Soul Spies, yeah, that's the feeling I'm getting. Like a dungeon version of an Infernal Horde. Oh, so it's like a dungeon, but it's like a hell dungeon, like in hell. I just realized from the background and stuff. Okay. Naturally. Okay, so we did those. Select the challenge. Yeah, so it's kind of similar concept with the... Let's just go for the, the, the rare one. Okay. Wait, either from the Soul Spire. Okay, let's do the legendary one. Trying Hierarch. Crawl of Hatred. Okay. <laughs> Pretty straightforward. And then, okay, and then we get the same kind of chest reward at the end. I guess the level 21. Or the 20 requirement one. And that's all we've got enough for, I think. Is that literally it? So it's just a literally a, a linear dungeon version of an Infernal Horde. That's a bit lazy. Right? Am I missing something? I cut my I've cut my way through countless demons, taken the mother's gift from them, time again to seek Estelle back in Zabanz and see what else she knows. You should know what Lochran and I learned. So hell's coming, no matter what. That about figures for this goat shy existence of ours. Lochran died to help you fight it anyway, didn't he? 
damned idiot always dragged me along chasing hope. Reckon I can hang on a while longer and give you a hand before all hell breaks loose? Got nothing better to do. Aye. Approach you still. Take a look at you. Eyes like burning coals. Your powers are growing so fast. I'm beginning to think I'm missing out. Reckon I'll join you on this next one. Kill a few heretics, steal their power. There's plenty for both of us up on Mount Sevo. See you there, yeah? Aye. The Seething Mountain. Isel said Mount Sivo is next, but this time she wants to accompany me. Fate is strange to send me back to that mountain with the enemy I thought there. Yet I fear the worst enemy awaits us. Who oh, there, wanderer? Enjoying the heat? I am the heat. What do you mean? Are they trying to let you pass? It seems you fit right in. They are slaves to hatred. The last thing we had in common died when you killed our mother. Let's bloody go. Aye. Look at that. It seems the bastards really are bringing hell to stay. Oh, Blessed mother, daughter of hatred. What is that? Oh, sorry, I already killed it. The e this ether, it feels like the mother's gift only stronger. Your powers of observation astound. Aye. Indeed it is stronger. If I'm right, it might be burning ether. The very core of a demon's essence. Aye. You can leave this with me. Keep the triune busy while I suss it out. You suss it out. I've cut my way through countless demons and taken the mother's gift from them. Time again to seek his stuff back in Zappens and see what else she knows. Have you learned anything about the burning ether? I learned I was right. We found a moat of burning ether, just as our tomes describe. The black abyssal core from which a demon is reborn. Oh, very exciting. If I can harness this ether, we could crush the triune, turn the tides, even put Mephisto in his place should he rear his head again. Let me guess, we're gonna do another infernal dungeon. Sounds too far good too good to be true. Truly you can harness harness it. Steady on now. You had power enough to charge into hell and walk out alive. And still you crave more. The rest of us, meanwhile. You should go. The heretics have descended on Tardulra. I'm sure the druids can't handle it. Aye. Isel said she was right about the burning ether, the very essence from which a demon is reborn. I'm not sure I trust her with this power, but Tor Dolora is in danger. The druids will need my help. I've come my way through countless demons and taken the monster gift from them. I should seek this stuff back in the and see what you learn about it. It's getting really like lazy now. Isel, any news? You still? News? Oh yes, well, it seems that no matter how many triune you kill, the tides just keep rising. It seems like you need help getting the job done. Lucky for us, I've worked out a ritual to harness that burning ether. Meet me at the house. You'll want to see this. What do I get betrayal vibes? Sins of the Willing. Apparently, Estelle has learned how to harness the burning ether. She has asked that I meet her back at her house where she will perform the, the needful ritual. Something feels off. Yeah. That was, doesn't it? Either she's going to try and make love to me or I'm going to be the ritual. House of the Family. What exactly does this ritual entail? Nah, don't go getting squeamish on me now. No power comes without sacrifice, right? Maybe. What would you give to stop hell, hmm? To have the power to challenge the Lord of Hatred himself. The burning ether might bestow that power, yet you fret over the cost. I am the cost, Anna. 
I won't submit myself to this. What do you think you can do to me? Oh, Wanderer. None of this is for you. You will witness me. By the blood of the willing! I am the mother's chosen! I will save her creation! Not you! Well, I knew it. Torrent of hatred. What is happening? Damn it! <laughs> what do you think was going to happen, lady? Like, hello? I defeated Lilith. Hello? He's still. <laughs> Just go! Go! <laughs> what an embarrassment. No presser, what are you doing here, man? My boy got left out. He's like, I wanna I wanna play too, guys. The wages of hatred. As my blood burns with the mother's gift, I can't help wondering about Estelle. Will she now will, will she show her face and silence it again? Only one way to find out. Like I've been in and out in and out of hell, real casual, defeating demon lords, bell councils, real casual. So I think I'll betray that person. Yeah, sure, we'll see how that works out. Hmm. I need to keep looking. You're gonna make me look for you now, bro. What a this! I have to say, this quest line is a bit rubbish compared to the other one. It's repetitive and it's time wasting. You can't be serious, Tom Iris. Morgan's folly is lost. Like why? Why? Why, why I gotta look for her in the bloody map? Estelle, is... where are you? Sorry, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. I know you had the ritual planned and everything, but. Uh... I, I promise next time, next time, I'll let you kill me, okay? Ah, there we go. Approach you still. <laughs> you came back. I wasn't sure I'd find you here. Bold of you to show your face. You know me. Might have ended up like these sorry bastards, tied to a cross of my own. Doesn't matter anymore why they did what they did, does it? Hatred got them in the end. The mother, she... She couldn't help what she was, but she wanted us to fight. To be free from hatred. She said so. In her teachings. I've kept them all in my grimoire. Maybe you'll find a use for them. But whatever you do... Don't let hatred win. Character's a bit of a dud. Breathe this to grimoire. I found this on Zabunzep. Her quest of power is finished, but she has offered help with mine. Well, duh. For once, she seems sincere. Perhaps I will accept. Like, what did you think was going to happen, lady? I'm the main character here. I'm pretty sure I read this already. A leather bound book marked by the sign of the mother. One side is badly burned, saved from a fire. Lilith stood by a burning pyre and spoke to her children of hatred. The righteous believe themselves to be strong, she said, worthy above all others. But in their contempt of the enemy, they fall easily to his will. Remember the power in your own free will and let no one, angel or demon, take it away from you. Amen, amen. He's still on Lockhorn's stories are complete. Return to hell and face the infernal hordes. Continue collecting a mother's gift for great rewards. I think that wraps up the season story. Estelle's Grimoire, it's an item. Remember the power in your own free will and let no one, angel or demon, take it away from you. The Gospel of the Mother, Birthrights, verse 4. Okay, well that was uh, season 5, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it was like, the Infernal Hordes mechanic is it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty fun, it's alright. But overall the um, season feels very lazy. Um, I think it's only two months, so I think they're just kind of... It's like a filler season until the expansion and season six comes out. Um, big coop, but I'm assuming a lot of stuff is maybe going to drop in season six slash expansion time. That's probably what they're kind of waiting out for. So this is, yeah, like I said, a little bit of filler. The Infernal Horde stuff is kind of fun, but the dungeons is literally... Yeah, it's like, it's really lazy. It's really lazy. Um, I don't know, we'll, we'll have to see in season six, six how the... Uh, 
content and story and everything that drops around expansion and season time is gonna be. Um, Diablo 3's Reaper of Souls expansion changed the game a lot and really kind of set it off and made it the game that it is today. Is this expansion gonna turn the tides of this game and its status and its position and is it gonna be fun and enjoyable and contentful, especially with Path of Exile 2 around the corner and of how that game is just being um, pimped with content it's a bit disgraceful when you look at Diablo and compare it to Path of Exile. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But I'll see you guys in Season 6. Take, take care till then. And uh, peace, peace.